Is this like when you couldn't get your underwear off because I'm not helping you again? Great finger dancing today. We call it handy prancing, but thanks. So it's a uh, secret? Of course it is, T, because it's amazing and distracting. Yeah, the first time I did it was at lunch when you were at a hall monitor meeting. I'd seen it on the internet, and like everything I've seen on the internet, I tried it right away. He painted on a pair of mustard shorts and slipped on some tater tot shoes. Miss LeBond's yelled at him to cut it out, but oh, it took off from there. <laughs> Soon the scene got so big we had to take it underground so we wouldn't wind up on Franz no-no list. Gene's the best at it and it's making me, I mean us, three, four dollars a day easy, plus candy and gum. Cool. Mind if I come back tomorrow? Sure. I mean, you're not going to go rat us out to Frond, are you? What? No way. I'll keep it. frond confidential. Confidential. <laughs> Great. Um, see you then. And also for the rest of the walk home now. And later tonight and tomorrow morning. Oh, you doing one of those gross burps again? Yep, yep, yep. Sure, I wasn't telling them the whole truth, but I wasn't going to tell Frond the whole truth either. Maybe there's another way out. It was a complicated sandwich, and I was the salami in the middle. Oh, Tina, easy with the broom. Oh, sorry, I was just thinking, I guess. Inside, I was a deck of 52 cards scattered on the floor. But from the outside, I had to look like a straight flush. Tina, you're sweeping me off my feet, literally. Ah, Tom Broom. <laughs> Guys. I've got a huge problem. Okay, is this like when you couldn't get your underwear off because I'm not helping you again? You, you need to buy bigger underwear. No, this is worse. You know, Kathleen? Yeah? Well, she invited me to the movies in a couple of days. Oh, that's great, Teddy. Yeah, but here's the problem. She could only get tickets at 5.30, which is dinner time. So I told her I could pick up a couple of burgers from you guys, but last time I tried to sneak a burger into the movies, it didn't go so well. Sir, you aren't allowed to bring outside food into the theater. Ah, ah, sorry, sorry. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, is that why you have a cardboard cutout of Vin Diesel in your house? No, that was a gift. Ah. I don't know what to do about this food. I told Kathleen I would bring burgers. This could make or break us. Well, well, maybe we can help you sneak them in. I can make you a little sneaky snacky. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you. You can't just waltz in there with a bag in your hand. That's lesson one. You gotta be like the James Bond identity. You gotta hide it. Give me a day, Teddy. I'll come up with something. Oh, thank God. I was really panicky there. <laughs> Better have a burger and fries and another burger to calm down. Yep. Life just kept moving around me, and I kept moving around life. Like, walking and stuff. But also sitting sometimes too, so I guess moving and also not moving, depending on what I was doing. Meanwhile, I couldn't stop thinking about her. She was so free, so wild. I wondered what it felt like to walk a mile in her tiny shoes. It'd probably take a while because her feet are so small, but boy oh boy, I had a feeling it would be worth it. Ow! Tina! Sorry. So, have you found out what's up? On a scale of friendship bracelets to teen pregnancy, how bad is it? No info yet, but you know, I've got some hunches and I'm eating some lunches. Okay. I thought I had it under control, but it turned out what I couldn't control was myself. All of my life, I've held it all in, wondering what I could have been. If all of those things I'm trying to hide Jumped out of my skin to the outside Just give me a hand, I'm tired of hiding Give me a hand, look at me striding I'm free as the breezy, a little bit sleazy My God, it's not easy Feeling so free Ah, nothing. You were handy prancing. What was I? You, uh, want to get up on stage tomorrow? Oh, no, I don't think so. This was just an accident. Sure. Your hand just accidentally fell into some of your old equestronaut clothes. Yeah, you'd be, uh, surprised how often that happens. <laughs> okay, well, Mom says come to dinner. Great, let's all get out of my room quickly then. We'd better hurry. Looks like she's going for my spaghetti. Mom, trip her! What did it mean? I was supposed to be busting those freewheeling fingers, but I wanted to be one? I was all mixed up like some kind of... Mixed up thing. Okay, you must be wondering about these. They're my old armpit hand nets from when I had to wear armpit hand nets in the restaurant. I thought we bronzed those. They're for Teddy, for his movie burgers. Linda, isn't that kind of gross? I mean, would you want to eat a burger that's been in somebody's armpit? Armpits are the cleanest part of the body. <laughs> no, I, I, I really don't think that's true. Uh, besides, won't the burgers get all soggy and mushy in there? I've eaten plenty of food that's been in mom's armpit. That's how she warms stuff up on the go. Bagels, baked potatoes, empanadas, soup. Yeah, I made s'mores in there one time. And what's your great idea, Mr. Smarty Sneaks? Um, anything would be better than food from your armpit. What about crotch? Butt crack! Fold it under one's boobs? Oh, good idea. 